The oil on these things doesn't last long enough. You hagfish. Someone help me out. Gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> now. What's it look like? Go oh, off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. Oh. <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> Such vehicles will not slow or stop to sure? avoid citizens. You know we have to check away. you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street. So the with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets, and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> Let me 
out. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Yes, I would. I think the little birdies are sad today. Granny, Granny, come out with me instead. Oh, you know, it's coming on the left. You never listen. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I think the little birdies are sad today. Let us in, Granny! I bet she can't hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Where are you? Here you are! I think the little birdies 
are sad today. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. The knives go on the left. They always go on the left. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? I think the little birdies are sad today. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani. Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. They're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come.